Minimaxwell has a special automation feature that allows you to sequentially step through impairment settings. In this flash video, we will emulate increasing packet loss rate, a very common occurrence on real-world networks. We will examine the effects on our device in the face of this very common network occurrence. We want to learn how our device will behave when packet loss rate increases. In our automation directory, we will double-click on the file named mmauto.ods. Or, from the command line, we will type oauthors space mmauto.ods space ampersand. We will enable macros with a medium security setting. We will enter the hostname or IP address of our Mini Maxwell device and press the Enter key. Then we will click on the Validate Address button. It should come back as green after a few seconds. The automation feature begins by telling the Mini Maxwell to establish a baseline set of impairment values. Then the automation feature begins to cycle through a sequence of program steps. Each step defines a set of impairment values and a period of time before moving on to the next step. When all steps are done, the automation feature will begin a new cycle with the first step. Now, Let's see how this is done. We will start at a baseline value. We can put different types of impairments for different types of traffic in different bands. But to keep this simple, we will only use band 5. We will slowly increase packet delay over a 60 second period. We will do this over 4 intervals. Then we will return to the initial set of impairments in step 1. At the bottom of the screen, we will click on the Baseline tab. The Baseline settings defines our beginning conditions. Now, what we want to do is have the packet loss or drop rate increase as a series of steps, each lasting 15 seconds for a total of 60 seconds. The Baseline default is no impairments. Now we will click on the Step 1 tab at the bottom of the screen. We will begin each cycle with Step 1. Step 1 will include no impairments. We want this step to persist for 15 seconds. In order to do this, we give the post step weight a value of 15. Then check Enable this step. Now we will click on the Step 2 tab at the bottom of the screen. We want this step to persist for 15 seconds. In order to do this, we give the post step weight a value of 15. We will check Enable this step. And enter 5% in the drop impairment for both LAN A to B and LAN B to A, so that 5% of all traffic in both directions will be dropped. Now we click on the Step 3 tab at the bottom of the screen. Again, this condition will persist for 15 seconds. We enable this step and we enter 10% in the drop impairment for both LAN A to B and LAN B to A, so that 10% of all traffic in both directions will be dropped. Now we will click on the Step 4 tab at the bottom of the screen. Again, this condition will persist for 15 seconds. We enable this step and we enter 15% in the drop impairment for both LAN A to B and LAN B to A so that 15% of all traffic in both directions will be dropped. We have now set up four steps, each lasting 15 seconds for a total of 60 seconds. 
When the fourth step is completed, the automation will return to step 1. We have now created these four steps increasing drop rates. Now we will go to the control tab and start the emulation. We begin our network emulation by clicking on Start. Note the right hand column shows the status which is running, the number of cycles completed, the current step number that is running, and the total elapsed time. All these values will be increasing. The cycle repeats every 60 seconds. You can watch the progress of the emulation by viewing it from the Mini Maxwell web page. Go to the Bands and Impairments and click on Refresh. Here you can see the drop percentage changing according to the step of the emulation. You must continue to click on Refresh to see the change. To stop the emulation, simply click on the Stop button. Mini Maxwell will stop after it finishes the current step. You can save your configuration and step up by saving the spreadsheet with a new file name. By using the Minimacro Remote Spreadsheet, you can drive Minimacro through a series of impairments over a period of time. This is very useful for observing the behavior of your device under changeable network conditions.